Hello, everybody. Welcome to Inspiration 44 for December 12th, 2012. Do you know what today is? Today is 12, 12, 12. Oh, no, the world is falling apart. Ah! Can you believe that it's the 12th month, the 12th day in the year 2012? Oh, my gosh. Okay, anyway, I've seen a whole bunch of people yapping about that today. And I'm like, you know what? Who really cares? Seriously, I'm not into numerology, so it doesn't bug me that today is 12, 12, 12. So what? Although I would have to say if I was born on this day, that's kind of cool. Hey, when we were born, that would be really easy to put down on your little thing, 12, 12, 12. That would just be really cool, you know? Anyway. Anyway. So, aside from that, let me just tell you that today uh, I want to let you know that the title is God Plus You is a Majority. Now, how many of you have thought about that? I'm sure you've heard this statement before, at least something very similar to it. Consider David versus Goliath. You know, you got David, the little kid there, little shepherd boy, who was probably a man, really, at that point, up against the big, giant Goliath. And all the other scaredy cats in the, you know, who were called to maybe possibly defeat this big giant, they were like, bark, 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 bark. but not David, David. The one they underestimated decided he was going to step up and he would take on the giant. And with a couple of stones, boop, that was it. The giant was dead. And not so much because David was so great, but it's because God was with David. And David was a man after God's own heart. And I don't know about you, but that is inspiring to me. Because you, whoever you are, have, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ and you believe in the, in the one most high God, the one true living God, note that I say these things together, true as in the true God and living as in the God that is alive, not some fake God that's dead or made out of wood, steel, stone, plastic, or whatever, but a real living, living God. Jesus rose from the dead. He conquered death. Up from the grave he arose, he, he rose a victor over the grave, he is living, he rose, he is, he is alive. That's why Easter is so great, because we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And sometimes, as Christians, we forget that Christ is, li is living, he's, he's alive. We still think he's on the cross and dead, but he's not. However, the cross is very vital to my faith in him because it's because of what happened on that cross that now allows me to know what a victory he had over death. He had to die so that he could defeat death and he did that. Anyway, so when you're going through a situation where you feel like it's just you against the world, just remember if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, it's God plus you is a majority which means that you, you're, you're gonna win no matter what. And the winning might not be what you think it is. It might be something completely different. But the truth is, God plus you is a majority. There's no way that you can lose if God is on your side. Whether or not God's purposes are yours is, is probably what most people struggle with. Well, you know what? I think that if I serve God that it's going to look like this. Well, you know what? It might not be what you think. It might be that God requires you to lose your life. Or it might be that God requires you to lay down a career that you worked really hard for so that you could serve him somewhere and not get the glory or the money that you might have made. Or it might be that God might lift you up. He might exalt you and put you in a position of authority and power like he did with Esther when Esther was there and uh, basically had the Antichrist of the day, Haman, in her hand, in the palm of her hand, basically before the king saying, hey, you know what, this guy, he wants you dead. But there was Esther. She was there for such a time as that, right? And as a result, the Jewish people were saved. Now, here we are in December, and if you don't know, it, we are in Hanukkah right now, right? So consider this. Here we are. We're in Hanukkah. The book of Maccabees, which is a book that is in the Catholic Bible, um, it's not considered an errant holy scripture, but it is historically accurate. Okay, it's maybe not God-breathed or inspired like the rest of the Bible, but the Maccabees, those books, are historical records of what happened during Hanukkah, where God took one day's worth of oil and he stretched it into eight days and made 
the fire and the oil burn for eight days and and he preserved the Jewish people so God plus one he preserved the Jewish people by doing a miracle like that and you know what if you need to be inspired by anything all you have to do is read your Bible because that book has like tons of miracles in there and if you look at the different stories of the different people remember God plus that person is a majority and God's ways always work out you have uh, you have people like um, Abraham who God told to offer up Isaac there's God with Abraham and Isaac and Abraham and Isaac they're walking and next thing you know Abraham is being told hey you know what you gotta kill your only son so he had a choice am I gonna do this or am I not gonna do it he decided to do it but guess what God provided God plus him is a majority God provided for him and Isaac as you know uh, Jacob and Israel uh, you know now we, we have that whole lineage and of course we have David and we have Rahab and we have all these people who did what seemingly be were be this little insignificant little acts of faith but God took each one of these little acts and added to it because God plus one is a majority and miracles happen when you have God on your side and um, and you know there you go so that's 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 all that's what I'm gonna share with you today because I just had to share that just just came to me it took me all day to get it but just so you know I got it and um, just wanted to encourage you today so be encouraged uh, because God plus you is a majority you know what the enemy of your soul cannot do anything with without God's permission all right you have the power because of his word to reject and to resist the temptation and to rebuke the enemy in Jesus name that's what you know God says you know the Lord rebuke you so you use the Bible in order to to rebuke that thing that is is hindering you and, and scaring you because you know what if God is on your side plus you you're a majority because God is bigger than any other entity in the world right okay just so you know all right so as usual, you can leave your comments if you want, and you can um, go ahead and uh, um, follow me on Twitter at the number 44 inspiration, and uh, just let me know what you think, or or if if there's a topic or a question you'd like me maybe to address in an upcoming Inspiration 44, leave that too. All right. Uh, and if you're following me and my trip, just so you know, I'm now in Oklahoma City. Got here safely. I am tired though, so I am going to end this right now because I am tired. So anyway, have a good uh, rest of your day and we'll talk to you tomorrow right here on Inspiration 44.